Hello everybody. Well, I've been meaning to do a review on my second hand Touratech um, motorcycle boots. Now, um, I did buy myself a, um, a set of former adventure boots, which were second hand, but they were virtually brand new. Um, and I bought size 10 and a half but they were just too tight for me because the sizes are so messed up and um so i sold those on ebay for more than what i bought them for um, but this guy had these up for sale for 80 pound they were they only been worn twice brand new and i think they cost about 280 quid um i can't remember the name I was just looking to see if they had the the, the type. Now, so these here are Touratech US 11, so the size 10 UKs. Um, but they're a little bit weird because you get the the outer boot and an inner boot. So you put these pair of boots on, the small ones, so you can wear them around. Um, and then you just slide your feet into those boots. You think, oh, they'd be a bit awkward to get on, but they, your feet slide straight in. They are really bloody awkward to get off. Um, now, another subject. You see, I've had a pin put in my big toe because I've got arthritis. And the method for taking these boots off is you sit down and um, you literally you put your hand under the toe and your hand under the heel and you bend it up in a in a circular motion and the boot slides off but of course with my bloody pin in my big toe my big toe doesn't bend at all whoa what a job getting my right boot off i thought i was gonna have to cut it off now i know that i did watch a review on these boots and the bloke says there's a technique to getting the boot off and when you get used to it it's fine so i will try again to use um the boot inners now i had another pair of boots i used for jet washing and they had these gore-tex um warm inners that i put inside they came in with the boots these fit inside these boots perfect so i've been wearing these inside those boots for ease of getting on and off rather than the inner boot um but i washed my bike the other day when i got home from a ride and um now it does state that these boots are not waterproof without wearing the waterproof inner and the water did come straight through um and now that those inners i wear are meant to be waterproof but they're a bit worn out so i got wet feet straight away so for winter riding i've got to get used to wearing the inner boot with my dodgy toe now you know obviously for you guys that are not as old as me haven't got arthritis it, it, you'll probably find that these these inner boots are perfect. They just take a bit of um, getting used to getting them off. But the boot itself, really heavy duty, um, proper off-road. Um, and well, I've been using it on my BMW uh, as road riding. And the only bit of off-roading I've done is a little bit up the track to where I was camping the other day. But they're so rigid on the bottom, the minute you stand up on the pegs, they're perfect for standing. Um, the soles are so rigid. Um, they're ideal for uh, if you were doing some green laning and stuff like that. And um, really good um, support, quite high legged. Now, I was watching a video, uh, there was a guy I know had come off his Africa twin. He was wearing Alpine Stars and he had three fractures below the knee. And they said if he wasn't wearing um, the boots he had on, he probably would have lost his foot. So, you know, you really got to wear good protection when you're riding. You know, when we were younger, we, you know, nowadays it takes half hour to get your bike gear on. Where we just used to jump on the bike. I don't even remember wearing any gloves. So you got those inner boots, which now the idea is that you can slip your boot off if you're going to go, if you're out touring and you're going to walk around town, you don't want to wear your boots. 
you can slip your boots off and walk around in these funky little Formula One racing boots. Um, and leave your boots by your bike. And you think, oh, right, I ain't going to do that. But they do come with this um, built-in metal tag. This wire tag here that you can stick your extending motorbike lock through there and leave your bike boots by your bike. Um, really good, robust, like probably everything with Tora Tech. Um, good, robust, robust catches. Very comfortable boot. You know, you've got to adjust your pegs, um, your gear shift levers to a, a, accommodate the massive um, toe section. Because, it, it, you know, compared to normal boots, this is enormous. But, um, you know, I've done a couple of rides in them now. And um, well impressed with them. That's with my inners. Um, and next time I go out, I'm going to bring these on, see what they're like. But you really got the thing about second hand boots, there's loads for sale on the market. And why buy a brand new pair if you can buy a brand new pair for a third of the price? But you just got to be really careful with the sizing. Now, I'm size 10, and these. Uh, you know, if if I could get a half size bigger, they'd be perfect. But um, as they are, they're, they're fine. You know, with the inner boot on, I can fit them on. I just have a bit of difficulty. I normally buy as a size bigger because of my pin in my toe. Um, but yeah, good boot. So that's Tora Tech. I'm trying to think of the name. I don't know why it hasn't got it in there, in the label there. Oh, there it is there. Testino. You know, nice boot, nice and warm. Um, well, the, the only time I've been out on my bike is it being in the pouring rain. And see, with my, I didn't get wet feet riding in them with my inners, but the BMW, I've got a BMW GS, it is weirdly very aerodynamic. You don't get very wet. Um, and you've got the pots sort of protecting your, your shin area. But, um, the angle your the boot is at. I think when I was washing the bike, probably the water got in through here. But because when you're riding and your foot is sort of at that angle, I didn't get wet feet. And I've been out in them, what, three or four times in the absolute pouring rain. When I was doing that road test on my MT helmet, um, it was absolutely chucking it down. I didn't get wet feet. Anyway, so that's a quick review on my Tora Tech boots. £8 second hand on eBay. Cheers, guys. Any questions? Ping me a message. Subscribe if you like. Cheers, bye.